Hey there boys, exciting day today, we just had Mountaintop drop, and it is pretty much just as good as we expected. Last week when the update dropped and we had the changes to Mountaintop on the old version, I went ahead and tried it out and had a lot of fun with the movement and showed off all of the really cool tech with that. In this video we're mostly going to be focusing on the damage applications for both DPS and clearing majors, but I'll make sure to cover what those movement techs are in this video as well for those who might have missed it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is one that we anticipated being really powerful for quite a while now, and if you're like me, you were gathering up a ton of tokens last week so that you could get Mountaintop as soon as possible. And that paid off for me, I was able to get an auto-loading Vorpal roll right away, however I am still after more perk combinations and a version of the current roll with spike nades. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at all the potential that the new perks on the weapon have to offer that you just couldn't do with the older version of the weapon. And we're going to do some other comparisons as well because there are some pretty weird differences between the old version of the weapon and the new one. The first and foremost biggest changes is obviously the difference in perks. And this gun has a ton of really good perks. To help you figure out what perks you want, let's talk about what the weapon is actually for. It's important to know that Mountaintop is not quite for the same thing that it used to be. It no longer has effective ag clear by any means. Waveframes are better anyway, but just to really put it in the ground that it's not for ag clear, we also have most of the damage being on the impact of the weapon and not in the explosion so that it doesn't kill you whenever you're doing funny movement stuff. So the main purpose of this weapon is going to be to do DPS either to bosses or majors as a form of burst, using something like Recombination, or obviously Vorpal for longer rotations against bosses. And so these are the perks we're going to be looking for, is the sort of utility movement stuff and damage perks. So the top dog perks in the third column are obviously Auto Loading Holster, Lead for Gold, and Overflow. Demo and Ambitious are also decent choices, however I wouldn't put them as high as the other three I just stated. Because the weapon is not an ag clear weapon, Demo isn't going to be doing a lot for getting you back ability energy, however it is okay as a reload perk on the weapon somewhat. As for Ambitious Assassin, it's not that hard to just shoot one enemy and then proc Ambitious, that way you can go into damage or burst down your next target with two shots super quickly. So I would pretty much just put it in this similar field of overflow and it's just whatever you want to have to deal with, either needing to kill an enemy before doing it or picking up an ammo brick before being able to double shot. It's sort of up to you. That being said, once we can enhance the perks, Overflow is definitely going to completely overtake Ambitious Assassin for overflowing the mag, because you will get 3 in the tube, because you get 120% overflow, which obviously rounds up to a third shot in a weapon which only has one magazine. As for the fourth column, we've got a couple of choices, the main ones of course being Vorpal and Frenzy, but also Recombination, a really interesting pick for this weapon. As a grenade launcher, it automatically has pretty good burst damage, and when you just double the shot of the one shot, it's actually very powerful. When you're looking at more of a boss DPS setup, you should consider how many shots you're going to be shooting with the mountaintop. If you're going to be shooting 7 or 8 or more, you're better off using Vorpal or Frenzy. But if you're going to be shooting less than that, then Recombination and then a bunch of regular shots after are going to be better. The fourth column doesn't really have a lot of other good perks, you have like one for all and Rampage and Harmony and some weird stuff. Harmony might be okay but I don't really recommend it. Realistically, you're looking at Vorpal Frenzy and Recombination as the absolute best fourth column perks. As for the top magazine and barrel perks, you pretty much want quick launch on all of them, velocity handling or reload masterwork depending on the perks you have, and then you want spike nades mixed with sticky nades most of the time. We'll get into why stickies can be good once we get into the movement part. I'm really liking Mountaintop right now because it is very versatile. It could do boss DPS decently, it can do good major DPS, and obviously it's a very powerful movement utility tool. So there's going to be a lot of places where I think Mountaintop is going to be a great pick for something to use. Especially in content where you're not necessarily able to use an Eager Edge sword because you need a better heavy weapon. While not as powerful as Eager Edge, Mountaintop can still certainly help give you some more mobility. So now let's go ahead and have a look at the movement applications because there's some crazy stuff you can do with Mountaintop. We're going to split this up into three techs and I'm going to call the first one just vertical boosting, which is something we already had in the past to a smaller degree with Mountaintop where you just shoot the floor with your grenade launcher and it boosts you upwards. You can extend the effect using glide or other jumps, however the warlock jump as expected is pretty much the best one for doing this. Heat Rises can also make the effect even stronger by increasing the verticality farther, although it is worth noting that you do it a lot faster without having Heat Rises procced. It also helps to just have Heat Rises even if you don't actually eat the grenade, because you can start jumping before you shoot the grenade, which does seem to make you go higher and faster. 
And for the next one, I'm calling this skate extension. This is using the mountaintop shot to extend a well skate or a fake skate, where you're using eager edge in combination with mountaintop to basically be able to go up while you're using eager to move fast, or to be able to go even faster forward or maintain speed better using the mountaintop. Basically to do this, all you do is you perform your well skate or your fake skate or your shatter skate or whatever you're doing. As you hit the ground, you do a vertical boost and it will send you upwards super high and it will help you keep your momentum because it'll keep you off the ground longer. If you want to make it go more forward and less up, then you can aim a little bit farther from yourself when you're doing the vertical boost and it will give you more horizontal speed. This is really easy when you're doing a well skate because you're stuck in third person and you can't look all the way down. You pretty much get the perfect angle to get the best speed from it. And finally, I want to call this sticky stacking. I think it's just a catchy name for it, but it's also like a distant relative to something called stick stack from Halo CE speedrunning, if you've ever heard of that, where they throw a bunch of grenades in certain patterns to blow up all at the same time. So I think it's just like that. And that's why I want to call it sticky stacking. And this is when you have sticky grenades equipped on the mountaintop and you shoot a bunch of them at the floor and then let them explode and they all launch you at the same time. And this is where we have one of the key differences with the new mountaintop from the old one. Because the old one is significantly under power, it does less damage to you from the explosions. So you can actually sticky stack better using the old one than the new one because you can't survive as many shots using the new one as you can the old one. What I found is I was only able to shoot seven before they would blow up on the old mountaintop and I was able to survive that just fine. However, if I tried to do more than five sticky shots on the new mountaintop, it wouldn't work which is unfortunate because with perks like Overflow, we could sticky stack a lot more shots. So hopefully this is something that we can mitigate in the future. Maybe you could do it from a well or something to make it work, but it is going to be easier to use the old one for the time being to sticky stack. And the last major difference is the mountaintop suicide. This isn't a movement tech. This is something that they do a lot in speedruns because oftentimes you'll need to one shot kill yourself for a number of different reasons. So if you're not doing any speedruns, this isn't a big deal to you, but if you are just getting into them and you're wondering why your mountaintop isn't killing you properly or somebody's having you do that for whatever reason, that is why you have to use the old one for some reason. I'm guessing this is just because it reduces your light even farther, that's the only real explanation I can come up with, but whenever you put on the zero light chicken mask here like I have on and you shoot yourself with the new mountaintop, it doesn't kill you. However, the old one will kill you, which is kind of odd to me because in any other situation, the new one does more self damage. If you guys have an explanation for that, I would love to hear it. Make sure to leave a comment below, like, subscribe, all that. It is much appreciated. Whenever you guys do leave a comment, I get a notification on my phone. So it's my absolute favorite thing to do is just to get to read comments from you guys. So make sure you do that for sure. And that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.